Hello everyone, it is my arch nemesis Queen Aphrodite on Chunga here. We must win this game. We simply must. Soulstone, getting that hot ass clear going. We're gonna try to poke her out as hard as possible. Establish an early lead. Boxer well with Fatalis. This is a tough matchup though. It's been a tough matchup since the uh, big, since the dawn of time. Um, a lot of people back in season two, when uh, when Poseidon was uh, you know a much better god, uh, you know would say pick Chang'a against him because Chang'a does very well and she, indeed she does. She has the two to avoid the Kraken very easily. She can um, distance herself from him and poke him uh, uh, very very well. So it's, it's tough. Wow, we made her start that. That's good. Oops, but I used my one because I'm an idiot. All right, that's rough. Jesus, this bitch is insane, dude. Oh my god, I'm not playing it well. Let's start out here. I wouldn't be enough. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> this guy's good with Chunga. I'll definitely give him that. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Wow, and that missed! Holy shit! The odds are not in our favor today. Why are the creeps not doing much damage to her? I don't understand that. We're both using up all of our uh, pots though. And we got her Aegis and that's great. See, the thing about Chang'a is if you can get her to use the uh, one, she's still got Aegis against the Kraken. So there's hardly any time to be hitting her with a Kraken. Should I make her miss as much as possible here? Yeah, good job of it so far. And we take down the red, that's great. And she's backing. So we can actually just shove this wave. This is going to be a tough one. Like I said, she plays Chunga very well, or he, uh, it is a, uh, a male, a male player. Um, given on the info that I've been given, this, if this sheet here is right, uh, but yeah, so if you're wondering why I'm calling someone named Queen Aphrodite, he, somebody in chat is friends with them. Alright, so both of us have cooldown boots. She's got sands of time though, so her ultimate's gonna be up quite a little bit. We're ahead, both in uh, the fact that we've been able to uh, take down the uh, the waves uh, and uh, push them into the tower. Oh! Fuck yeah, let's go, bitch! Oh my god! I've had a rivalry with this person ever since I played Bologna into uh, his uh, Aphrodite and I was so damn sure that I was going to win easy. I was up 2-0 I was just like, you know, kind of lackadaisically going about my day, just like, you know, taking out the trash, son, and then she came back and won it and spam taunted the shit out of me. So now I've been on a personal vendetta and oof, oof, that Sunder felt gratifying. Good. Still hasn't used her too though, right? She's able to take all that. It's really hard to hit her with the, the one in those situations, you know, in those tight corners. Do 
Jeff Vice will help a lot here. Hoping that there would be some sort of delay, you know, that the tube wouldn't be able to come out as quickly um, as the Kraken would apply damage after that uh, Aegis wore off, but nope, it's not how that worked out. You fucking had that? Are you shitting me? God damn it, I can't believe she had it! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, so there goes a lot, unfortunately, but uh, we have to trudge on. Find something here. I'm just gonna go straight into Fatalis, I think. This is a little. I'll go Fatalis, tier 2 defense, Obsidian Shard. I'm not gonna make the mistake of going Divine Ruin when I need more damage again. I need to be able to burst her, so. Mm -hmm. We're still up a good amount in gold. But Chunga starts to pull ahead here. Yeah, this season's yellow Crayola. <laughs> and he, her, his builds fucking are just, what the hell? <laughs> so weird. There we have the gem vice out. Okay, that's good. Pop that. Jesus Christ, man. That's insane. How do I fight into that? I definitely need to get the tier 2 defense as soon as possible. She doesn't have any damage, any pen, yet she does that much. Isn't that a little absurd? Let's just rush it right now. We don't have enough. Yeah, as you can see, just impossible to set up for a Kraken, given the two and the Aegis. One or the other is going to be up uh, against a smart Chunga, and this guy definitely plays it well, so... There you go, that's down. She's got so much cooldown though that it's gonna be back up in a second. Okay, good. We forced an Aegis there that we should not have been able to force. Okay, but never mind. She she ulted just now already? Or <laughs> what happened again? What just happened? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god, we both fucked up, but she should have had that kill. She fucking bracered. 
I definitely need anti-heal as soon as possible. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Give her everything. Go away. Yeah, if she had hit her initial ult, you can just, as you can see, she just wins the boxing match here, like, outright. I shouldn't be leveling the Kraken because it's not doing damage anyway. Still no second relic because I'm really not sure what the fuck I want to go. Mm. We're fighting for the late game here, so. You know, in this stage of the game, I can't touch her. We need to get a full auto attack build online in order to do anything. So, uh, stalling out this relic uh, is okay. Like I said, Bracer would be nice, but I can't really uh, justify it with her having the anti-heal. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> anti-heal relic doesn't really work well against Chunga. She's a very tough god for uh, mages to fight into. Because of this position that she puts them in where she, they really can't comfortably pick a second relic. There's nothing that works very well against her. Nothing at all. But um, I might as well try for the, uh, the anti-heal one. I'm going to go for the divine plus the demonic. So I really need the anti-heal. Slow down the game's pace a lot. Try to make her overextend a little bit. She's hitting for so much at this point with nothing. Nothing online, right? Hitting for so much. <laughs> My god. Alright, so let's try it. Where, where, where is it? I've never built it. Uh, next time, next time. What the fuck is. Oh, this one, this one. Okay, cool, cool. It's a big anti-heal. Wish it slowed too. Yo, you know what I could go? My shit. Horrific emblem. But I already have mad slow, so I don't think it's worth it. Alright, let's do this. Radius is big on this, unlike fucking the other one. Can't even come close to fighting this bitch. That's crazy. So I got that. She over here. Get away from me. Yeah, I hate this matchup. Personally, it's just such an annoying one. It's not even personally. It's, it is. It's such a fucking annoying matchup. Side. He doesn't get to do any of the things that he usually does, which is you know get big krakens on people, bird into a lot of damage.
No, her build is her build is actually phenomenal. This ensures that she's not gonna have any tr uh, trouble in the early game against me, and that she's going to guaranteed get to late. Sells the Void Stone late. Has Warlock Satch, which is the best item in the game for a mage. If you can build it at all, you build it. It doesn't matter how late into the game. If you know you're going for late. So this is actually, I gotta compliment the shit out of uh, this person on this build. Is really, whoops, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> it's really, really well thought out. Um, and they didn't want too much health, so they went Genji's instead of the other one. Also wanted the CDR on it, so max out early CDR on Chunga. It's actually quite brilliant. How you doing, Frostfire? Yeah, let's hope that that demonic can uh, carry us a lot because we definitely need. It. I think demonic is a smart, a smart option here. We're doing a little bit here now. We're uh, getting a little bit of anti healing on her. Oh God! Goodbye, world. <gasps> yes, bitch. Oh, fuck! That sucks. God damn, that was so close. Good thing at least we got her Aegis off of it. Not sure if we got a bracer. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah, the, her build looks terrible, but I think it's uh, it's actually it's quite good. It's just unconventional. Uh, but it is it does allow me to get closer to late game, but I feel like she's just She's just trying to get herself to late game and stop my my early potential. Given that I had a first blood, I think it was I think it was a really good idea. I gotta say, it looks weird as fuck, but I think it is good. Reds up. I really want to try to steal that. But that's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. See now we can distance ourselves well. But, I don't have much mana in this build, huh? She knows that she'll win this. Jesus. Yeah, I really like the, the Void Stone. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> I like this build. Guy's got some interesting uh, strats. I need the full demonic, or else I'm not hitting for enough. But as you can see, I'm starting to hit for something at least. Yeah, she just wasted all of my mana and allowed herself the free red again. Very smart. This is a good opponent, dude. I think she'd be, or he would be, a lot higher on the leaderboards if uh, he didn't just play like Chunga and uh, Afro. Undoubtedly. Okay, so we have the the uh, demonic now, and um, I don't know. It's awkward. I, I wish I could go Obsidian with uh, demonic, but then again, I need anti heal anyway, um, and just the pestilence. Uh, wouldn't cut it because she's healing from afar. A lot of people like pester me like crazy when I'm fighting against Chang'e uh, to go Pestilence, um, but that, that's not the type of healing that she's doing. Uh, pestilence has to be applied while, while close to the enemy, and uh, as you can see, she's going away, then healing, and then coming back. So she would be outside of the range constantly, whereas Divine procs it for the entirety of, uh, of the engagement. This up? Nope. Okay, let's definitely get that bulwark online and we'll be doing a lot better. Uh oh, you see that glitch over there? <laughs> I don't like the look of that. Alright, so this is our final build here. Without warlocks, fighting into warlocks is always rough as well. Exactly, yeah. Diesel says the same thing. Uh, Pestilence in the early is cheap and it's effective if you're sticking to them. Um, 
But in the late game, Bulwark is, is a much better item, yeah. It's tough. I, I still can't fight her. Like, I, I guess she has 500 pot and I don't. Uh, that's one thing. That's right, bitch. That's good. Okay, I can fight a little bit if I, if I do that. Yeah, I just need my 500 pot. And I have to play it super safe. Super, super safe. Just try to stay at max range. Ah! Got her. Ah! Got her again. See, she keeps trying to bridge that gap, and if I don't let her, we have something going there. I was to start buying monopods with the, the fucking length that these engagements are going. Shit, okay. Ah, shit. That sucks. Got nothing off of that. Misplayed it. I was hoping that I can beat him far, and I was not able to. He's waiting for my bulwark to run out. <laughs> Damn, that could be GG's. Damn, it's unfortunate, man. At least this is not my uh, my tryhard account. Um, it just sucks to be locked into this matchup uh, of all matchups for Poseidon. I, I was excited to play Poseidon because I don't get to play him that much on this account. Um, hardly anybody requests him. And we just, unfortunately, um, came into this fucking matchup. I'm not sure why he's not taking Phoenix here. Because he wanted to go heal or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. This is uh, too tough, man. Um, for a lot of people that are going to be saying, like, you know, I definitely should have gone Obsidian. Because um, th there was a case in which I should have gone Obsidian in the uh, uh, in a recent match. Um, I, I understand, uh, you know, you're going based off of that. But in this particular matchup, I'm not doing any burst damage to her. It's all auto attack. So I, I think this build was really the right choice. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, god. <laughs> it's so tough. She's been a natural counter to him since like day one. Ah, oh, you got me. Oh! Whoa, what? That didn't do any damage. Shit. There's a Barabas, how you doing? I'm good, dude. How are you? I'm trying to think if there's anything I changed in the uh, build. I, I really don't have room to. You know, Rob would be nice, but I can't sell anything for it. Having Telkines would be nice, but I again, I can't sell anything for it. Maybe I should get rid of Gem, but then no, can't distance myself from her. So that's the, like I said, that's the awkward, tricky position Chunga puts a lot of gods in that, that makes her such a good god. Um, is that she can't, uh, uh, there's some items that you have to build against her, you know, those anti-heal items have to be built against her. Things now. Yeah, I was hoping. Hoping for for more than I got there, you know. Okay, that's cool. Oh, she's got blank. Oh, why didn't she use it? Cool, 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 cool. I'll take it. There we go! Really huge overextension from her. I can't believe she did that. 
That's what these are what throws are made of. It's a good look, but I don't know that it's gonna do too much for us. I need like a 3k power pot. I need I need something. Exactly, you need eight items in this matchup as Poseidon. It's like, what, what the fuck do you do? You can't have a full build against there. And she has the luxury. The, the thing is, she like I was complimenting the, the idea of the build, uh, given that it was you know the early to mid build, but she hasn't sold the Void Stone, and she really needs to. I'm not sure why she's not. I really want to take this red down. Oh fuck, I popped Bulwark. That's not good, man. That's the worst. And I need another 500 pot, and I need a blank too, so I still can't get a 3k pot. <laughs> there goes all my money. Oh, and blink is a thousand now. I forgot that. That's good. That's a lot better. I like that. But taking away that red buff was very important. If she had that red buff into this siege, I would be fucked. Where do you think she's at? At the fire? She's trying to get the drop on me. I can't really do fire, is the thing, so. Yeah, I figured she'd have blink there, but she wouldn't be able to see me through the wall. I should be picking up a monopod, like I said, these engagements are going on for so long. Oh, really? Should be okay here. So she blinks, I blink. We cleared most of the wave, so that's great. So fast. Zoom, zoom in. Let's get that monopot. Single monopot will win us the game. Yeah, Blink's not in a uh, in a great state now. It's in a better state. But uh, it still just shouldn't be a, uh, a combat Blink. I don't understand why it is. Doesn't really make sense. I don't see why they don't see that. Look at that thing. Does she have a 3k pot? No, she probably doesn't. She's just fucking chunking. <laughs> My god. Oh, that hit. Uh oh. Alright, let's, let's dip, let's dip. Yes, bitch! Oh my god, let's go! The fucking call out on that one. God damn. That was the hardest read I've made all year. Get him. Get him. She finally sold the void. Went Asclepius too, which is a good, I think a good idea here. It's annoying as hell to deal with. Oh my god, if that targeted me, I would cry. Can't take the Titan by any means, but get the 3k pot. <laughs> Sell the monopot. Get the blink. Get another monopot. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. She's got so much health now. If only I could counter that. I should go, uh, what's it called? Oh, yo, this is up. This is our chance. This is our moment. Look at the damage coming through. Jesus, you're full health. What are you doing? How are you? <laughs> no. I should get multi pots instead of the monobots because she's chunking me so much. Oh, 
Yeah, I know. I want ESAP, dude. There's just no room in the build for it. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, alright. Can I give a fuck about that? Oh, I thought she was gonna go forward. Fuck me. <laughs> my bad, my bad. It's okay. Yo, that almost smacked her. Let's go, let's go. See you later, bitch. Let's go. Poseidon. <laughs> my boy. GG. Yeah, what an entertaining game that was. What a comeback to some huge throws from her. She had that in the bag.